What's up card fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central coming at you with a Shadow Paladin deck profile. Sorry for the late update. We have been busy with school and stuff like that, so this is the build that's been working pretty well in like the playtesting and what we've seen from other players. So for Illusionary Revenger Mordred Phantom, our break yard our break ride gives plus ten K to Abyss and you can counter blast one to search for a grade two or less from your deck and give it plus five. And then we have the main star of the deck for Revenger Phantom Blaster Abyss. So it's our restanding vanguard. You know, this guy's really brutal. And you have to kill off three rear guards, but it's like super easy in this deck. And he's just a big bully. Um, I mean, that's what we could say about shadows. So on to our grade twos. We have three Willy Revenger Mana. I know some people would rather run McCart in this situation just because you know he gets a free call during Legion, but honestly, Mana can is a superstar in her own sense. She gets a call for free and then like sets up Abyss easy. She can sit in your hand for a while and she doesn't rely on Legion, or you can definitely rush as soon as possible. And then four, Flash of Dark Revenger, uh, for unflips with Dorant, and if you really want to destroy the rear guards. And four, Flash of Dark Revenger Abyss, helps out in the mirror match to kill another Judge Bow or uh, any grade, pesky grade one or lower. On to the grade ones, two Swordbreaker, that's all you really need in the deck, or else it gets clunky. Four, Karma Collector Perfect Guards, obviously for unflipping purposes. For Barrier Troop Revenger Dorant for unflips and, you know, good columns. Three Transcient Revenger Masquerade, it's our 10k hitter. And one Tekken of a Sharp Point Revenger Shadow Lancer? Lancer, yeah. So that's our break ride finder. If we can't um, get it early, you know, it's just to help thin out the deck mainly. You don't, you don't always pull it off, but yeah. We're here. On to our triggers. Uh, four draw. Another eight crits. If you can see the the shiny of the Revenger and the Angel, and four heals. You know, you want to stay aggressive and also have a lot of draw power with the deck. On to our strides. So Dark Knight, Grim Recruiter, generic uh, Shadow Paladin. Uh, if it hits, call it grade one. And then True Avenger, Drag Ruler, Revenant. You can kill off one of your grade ones and then call out a new one and give it plus 3k. So it's a pretty aggressive card. Two Supremacy Black Dragon Aura Geyser Dragon. Jeez, that's really repetitive. But uh, basically, this card fills your hand a lot. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, and then you retire two units. You can uh, reveal the top two. If it's a grade 1 or less, you can give plus 5k to your Vanguard. And then you put those two cards in your hand. So it's essentially like a plus 5 right there because of the drive checks and stuff and in case you get any triggers. And then four, Dark Dragon, Phantom Blaster, Diablo. You know, it's one of your finishers of the deck. Gets plus 10k in a crit. And uh, it's a really brutal card that adds to uh, another option you can go to besides of this. And lastly, for our starter of the deck, we all know it's our dog, Judge Bow Revenger. Um, this card was errated, but, I mean, a lot of people in mirror matches want to kill this card as soon as possible, just so there's no advantage, but this card's hard to stop, you know, uh, the errata is, I believe, he can, you can hit anything as long as it hits with Phantom in its name, right, Ryan? Yeah, as long as it boosts a Phantom and hits, it doesn't have to hit only the Vanguard, yeah. hit rear guard also, it still can go off. Yeah, so you call two grade ones, uh, to rear. But otherwise, this deck is uh, the deck we use for our GB3 update. Super aggressive. 
and it's uh, the early game is really powerful. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just comment down below, like us, subscribe, and Vanguard Central out.